back everyone so in this video we'll be discussing about text fields and uh, how we can use it and get the value out of it so on the screen you can see that we have our text field on the right side in the canvas and we have kept a done button so in text field you can see there is a hint text written as a placeholder this hint text is used to guide the user that what he should actually write in this text field so let's say you want to create a text field for taking user name then here you can just say instead of hint text you can just type user name so that the user knows that he he has to input the user name in this field so this is why we use the hint text and then once the user starts editing it yeah so he can press the done button once he is done so this is the canvas and this is actually the code for it so you can see that we have a text field and with this we have a placeholder text and then we have a text input that will store the value which will the user inputs in it and once the editing of this text field changes like whenever user starts editing the text field or once the user uh, has completed the editing then this action is we get this callback action and then we have a text field style as rounded border you can see this borders are rounded and we have added a default padding to the text field and then we have a done button on which when you click um, this done button will disable the editing like it will finish the editing so you just you can just ignore this extension and this button part for now i have just kept it for explanation purposes you don't need it right now we will discuss it later but not right now yeah so this is the code so let's just remove all of this and try to uh, implement it from scratch all right so we have removed this i'm keeping this extension for now because we'll be using it uh, later so for adding a text field you can just directly do text field and here we have title and text so this title is actually the placeholder text so let's say we want to tell user to enter the username in this field enter username and for this text this wants a binding variable so what is the binding variable so if we pass text input to this that we have declared above so for now let's just understand uh, that a binding variable is like uh, whenever the value of this text field changes it will store that value into this text input variable so binding is like uh, it will bind the data that you enter in the keyboard with this variable so even when you uh, press one key this value will get updated so the text input value will get updated so let's see how it looks and this state and binding will be discussing in the upcoming lecture after two three lectures we'll be discussing the state and uh, binding for now just understand this that whenever the value of the text field will change the value will get stored in this text input uh, variable all right so this is done now, now let's just add some style to it because currently it's looking very plain enter username so let's just do text field style and here you can see it's expecting a text field style enum let's just press a dot and we have three options automatic plain and rounded border so plain and automatic are just same like we are seeing in the right hand side if we do a rounded border so you can see that uh, a rounded border has appeared because there is no padding to it let's just also add a padding and give it a default values okay, okay now it's looking good yeah. so this is for the text field and let's just also add a button here in the button we will just pass the title so done. let's just keep it done for now and then we can pass an action to it for now i'll be passing ui application dot and editing all right please ignore this code for now it's, it's only for the demo purpose and we'll be discussing it after one or two lectures okay so here you can see that we have a text input variable and a done button 
so in the right hand side if you click we can see we can input anything and on the click of done button the text field will end editing so if you want to know that the user has started editing the text field as well as when the user has completed editing then we also have a callback option here which is on oh sorry not here we have to keep it inside on editing changed so here we it's giving us a boolean variable so let's just ignore the boolean for now because we don't want to use it and we will just print edited once the editing changes so let's just clear this so when i click on this enter username it should print edited because i have just enabled the editing see it's printing edited and once i uh, enter something and once i click the done button it should again print edited because now i have done the editing completed the editing yeah so it's printed again so this is how we can use the text field so we can pass a placeholder we can pass a binding variable so whatever that we are editing here this value is getting stored in this text input if we want to check this let's just add a text below it and inside this text we will pass text input so now whatever the value is in text input it should always show it in the text so if i enter it here above the done button you can see the value that text input has and it has the same value which you are entering in the text field because it is a binding variable and the value is getting synced synced between the value that you are entering in the keyboard and the text input so yeah that's pretty much it about this lecture in the next lecture we'll be discussing about text editor so if you are trying to uh, take only one line as a input we use text field but if there are multiple lines we can use text editor so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about the same see you guys in the next video